Hey, happy Friday! How are we doing today? Hopefully great. So today we have a special, special show for you, teaching you the power of positivity. Yes, <laughs> let's do this today. Okay, so we um, are so excited. We started this little challenge this week and you can see it behind me here, which is left of mine. So what we're doing is challenging people to um, write some positive things about themselves and and then have that um, for you to look at for eight days and read it to yourself over and over for the eight days. So we are um, so excited to bring this challenge to you guys as well. So just know that even though we don't name all of you guys, it's our challenge to you to spread this positivity. and. Um, you know, the power of positivity in your mind is huge. So we want to talk about a lot of that today. So we also want to, are you going to? I think to, we need to catch up on Are Facebook. we having trouble on yeah. Facebook? I think Facebook is having problems. So we're going to see if we can bring that up. Can you figure out what's going on back I there? I can sure try. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to get, while Jenny gets Facebook started, um, I'll just keep talking on YouTube and then we'll restart a little bit so that we can reintroduce everybody else to what we're talking about today. So, um, Make sure that on YouTube, you guys go ahead and get your um, comments, answers, and shares in because that will always help us. Um, and you know, subscribing always helps as well. So if you guys um, get those in, that's how we choose our winners. People are always asking how we choose our winners, and that's how we do it is by comments and questions and things like that. So. Um, we're going to, we're almost ready. I think Jenny's almost got almost um, Facebook <laughs> up. So when we get that started, then I'll, I'll start over a little bit, but you guys will, you guys will bear with me right out there oh. on YouTube. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go live on Facebook now too, so that we can catch that up. You got it? Yep. Are we okay. Ready? Push. Yeah, you can push it. Okay. We're in the, <laughs> what's that? I think we're hitting. The oh, you got the camera in there. there okay. We there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you know, happy Friday again, and we are so excited to bring you the power of positivity. We are um, so excited to be challenging people to do this little exercise behind us. Um, so what we did is we both wrote our, um, you know, eight things that we heart about ourselves. So whether you like it or love it, however you want to phrase it in your mind, and then we are challenging everyone else to do the same. Whether you take a video of it like we did, or just go ahead and take a picture of what you wrote, or, you know, your friend um, did a really cool yeah. thing. She, what did she, she do? She just had a photo, you know, a stock image maybe, and then she just typed on it. So yeah. however you decide to do it, it's just... It's, it's the really cool. it's the practicing of the of the positivity that is the key yeah. I think to it all. So, mm -hmm. um, so that is our challenge to you guys today, and I want to take you like on a little journey of what how the power of positivity helped me. And then of course, if you have any any questions about anything today, so today is about anything. So if you have any questions for us, just let us know and we're happy to answer for you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this camera back here because it's annoying me <laughs> and it's like way up high. Okay, so, um, so let's see. Oh, don't forget to get your comments, answers, and shares in because that's how we pick our winners. And today we have quite a few, so make sure you stick around till the end because there's going to be quite a few today, I think, because we are talking about the beginning of time and how the po power of positivity has helped us through that. So um, first, what did you learn about writing this for yourself? Like how, how was that for you? It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy for you? Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's so ingrained in our brains to think of the negative things that bug us about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And when you have to sit down and focus on what's positive, it doesn't come as easily. So yeah. I think it's a really important exercise. I do think that's one of the things that women constantly are taught and anyone for that matter is like, you know, what you're not good at. I swear, I think it's because we tell our kids no all the time in the beginning and they're just like, oh, hearing no all the time. And <laughs> then they like, it's like, no, you're not good at stuff. You're not, or, mm -hmm. you know, I'm. that's not what we're intending to say no. ever, right? Like, no, you can't jump off of that. <laughs> ledge my son we're building a deck and he's like mom do you think I can jump that and I'm thinking no you can't jump that and he might be able to but I'm scared as a parent I'm like I don't know no don't try I don't, I don't think it's a good idea <laughs> so you know they hear no a lot and so I just think it gets ingrained in your brain so the the practice of you know teaching yourself to talk positive about yourself I think will be amazing so um, if you guys have any hair questions we're of course happy to answer those but most of this is going to be about um, 
speaking positive to yourself and where that can take you. So I want to take you on a little journey with me. So when I, it was 2011 and my husband, he got injured playing hockey and we were trying to regroup and, and figure out what we were going to do when we grew up, but we were already <laughs> grown up and we had two kids. So we had to, you know, really take a crash course on it. And I had um, gone through hair school and I was, you know, um, teaching my clients to curl and everything. And I read this book and this book taught me to start thinking positive. And when you start thinking positive and start taking action on those positive thoughts, it will bring more positive things into your life. So I was very inspired by that and that's how I started coming up with the iron. So I wanna show you guys what my, my first iteration of the iron looked like. Okay, now remember, this is, you know, it's jumbled together. That's the way it is. <laughs> so this is my, I call it my Frankenstein iron, okay? So this was my very first version of it. And this is how I used to curl my hair in the beginning because I was testing for you guys to see if it would work. So that was my very first garage iron. And look how shiny it is even. <laughs> I love what lights do for things. It can make Frankenstein look pretty. So, you know, I, you know, this is one of the things I love about this example today is that, you know, a lot of people would look at this and not understand what it could become. And I think that's important because sometimes we look at ourselves in the mirror like this and judge ourselves harshly and don't understand what we can become. And I think the best way for you to start learning that is by taking the positive journey with yourself. So what I had to do with Jenny, I didn't have to, I didn't have to, I just thought it was an easy way. Well, I kind of challenged her. I said, okay, write a couple of negative things about yourself. And she was like, Brrr. and I was like, all right, now match all those with positive. So, you know, I want people to maybe, you know, take it further and, and, the negative things that you repeat to yourself or the negative things you think about yourself, write those down and then I want you to one up them. You know, you don't have to stick to eight. If you have more thoughts like that, then just do more and then read them to yourselves every day and then challenge your friends to do the same. I think um, reading your, them to yourselves for eight days is like a good, because I think seven creates a habit. And mark me, you know, like if anybody knows that it's not seven, it's 12 or something, let me know. But I think it's seven um, days in a row um, is what creates a, a habit. Yeah. Is that right? Do you know? I've heard that. I've Have you heard, heard it, Tammy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard seven. So yeah. if we go one pass, then we're past yeah. a habit and now it's like just innate. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. yes. We're going to believe that. We are. Okay. So, so that's what we want you guys to do today. So um, I just started, I started um, drawing pictures about my vision for the iron in 2011. Yes. So 2011, I started thinking about, oh, this would be cool if it could happen. And I think it was around Thanksgiving, but I might need Kendrick to answer this for me. So Kendrick, if you can remember when you were here visiting and we were talking about this idea, let me know. Um, so he was here visiting and then I started thinking about it but I was working two jobs at the time so you know and raising kids and my husband was working at nights and I was working during the day so we you know went on this journey of trying to build this iron for I don't know if it was almost a year maybe and then finally this my Frankenstein version <laughs> came up and it started working um, and I was like Oh my gosh, it actually, it worked. <laughs> like I could literally just go like this and it worked. And I was like, oh my gosh, because every other iteration I had tried really had to twist my wrist. And my husband was always saying, Jacinda, you're still twisting, you're st still turning. And I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not. And he was like, yes, you are. And so when I did this one, he was like, you're not turning very much. You, you turn a little bit, but not much. And so I was like, I think we got it. And so you know, then it was all about learning. And imagine me being a housewife, basically, or a house girlfriend for a long time and a housewife for a long time, and then going into this going, how, okay, I got I got this, <laughs> now what? Yeah. So thankfully I had, you know, my brother was here visiting when I picked this iron up from my cousin's house and he was like, here goes, that's, do you know what you have there? And I was like, he goes, you have a hard good. This is something you can actually sell to people and, and do this. We can create a whole company out of this. And I was like, what, really? Okay, yeah, let's do that. And so that's how it started. And we just, you know, and you just have to keep telling yourself, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And it is really funny. So um, I'll show you my other Frankenstein model. This is the, 
<laughs> so every iron comes with a heat sleeve and this was the first one we ever created. Dan always creates things like for me to like visualize. He goes, is this what you're looking for? And I go, well, yeah, but a pretty version and I don't want the seam on the outside. I want it on the inside. So, you know, we worked towards that and we finally came up with this sleeve, which fits better and, you know, works good. So you, are, you don't have to worry about your, you know, what, where you, what, what, you don't have to worry about what, traveling with it, all kinds of stuff. I just wanted somewhere to put the hot iron because I never had, any, have you ever been caught in the hotel, right? And you're like, Ready to go, and you're like, what? What, what do I do I with this? My it out with Hi, me with I'd like app. to check out. <laughs> like, hey, can I get in a taxi or an Uber? You yes. know what I mean with this? It's so funny. So, um, yeah. So anyway, the sleeve. You know, these they're funny, but if you speak positive to them long enough, they are gonna get there. They are gonna get to where you want them. <laughs> yes. Even though our first one, you should grab. Can you grab that one, please, yes. for me? Just so that we're getting a lot of. Um, I heard it was 21 days. I heard it was 28. 21 and 28. Is All right. The official. Everybody. Everybody's wondering. saying 21 and 28. Okay, so we'll read them for that. More days. days, more positivity. I'm all for yeah. it. Keep going. And then I would challenge you to add to your list. You know, if you start with eight and that's easy for you or whatever challenge you to get further and write more good things about yourself because I'm telling you before this journey <laughs> before this Frankenstein journey I literally I don't think I could have come up with three positive things about myself I think I was like uh you know I I just I you know I was so it was so ingrained in me to yeah. think negative about myself like uh, you know, there, I, I don't even want to go into it because I try not to repeat those negative things about myself anymore. So I won't tell you things that I would say. Um, so anyway, so when I was starting this idea for the positive, you know, we're calling it the time challenge. So when I was starting this idea, I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to write this list now. And so I was watching Jenny write hers. So we filmed hers first. And I was thinking to myself, boy, I better get started on my list because it's going to take me a while because the last time I tried to do it was like a long time ago. And so I started writing and I was like, oh, that was easy. And I could have kept going because now I'm discovering yeah. things about myself that, you know, because I just keep thinking positive and I keep practicing positive thoughts and talking to other people about positive. And I, and you know what, one of the biggest things I've learned about this journey and these guys like Jenny and Tammy are like in on it daily with yes. me, right? We're like yes. constantly talking about how to be positive. And I think one of the biggest things is removing judgment from your thoughts. Judgment on yourself and judgment on others, right? Don't you think? Right. I think it's huge. It is. So we hope that's going to help you guys. So uh, where were we in the journey? So my brother, you know, said that we were going to create this uh, company based off of the iron and everything. And then we had to figure out how to create um, the next version. So the next version is this one. And this is uh, a 3D printed version. So that was the very first one that we ever had printed and that's where we came up with painting guidelines on. This is car paint, by the way. So <laughs> I was really afraid my hair was gonna be jacked up from using car paint on my <laughs> hair all the time. But it was not too bad. And our first video was made with this iron, um, our very first introductory video. It was really funny. So, you know, and it was it was really, uh, it was quite trying for us to, that day. My husband had to take an iron apart and put it back together because I think we had two of them and one of them worked better than the other. And I don't know, it was just really funny. So that was in 2012, but you just have to tell yourself like, just keep swimming, <laughs> just keep swimming, positive, right? That's right. it. Okay. So um, do we have any other questions yet, Tammy? So um, that we can- Actually, we a couple anything? questions on blow, the blow dryer. They wanted to know if it comes with any tor type of sleeve or carry-in pouch. Uh, no, the blow dryer, it doesn't. I didn't think about that. I only, because the way I carry a blow dryer is I just wrap the cord around the top and I just I, I don't know I just didn't think about putting it in a bag all the time so I'm sure we could come up with something like that for you Ching! we can figure that out I'm sure we can figure out so if you guys have any suggestions like send us pictures of great hair dryer bags if you guys I would think because I just don't like putting stuff in things if I don't have to but do you carry it in a bag I don't know because I do the same thing I wrap the cord yeah in my bag. yeah that's me too because I I think my biggest concern was that it was hot so yeah. Okay. A lot of we'll questions think about, about the thermal spray too. When okay. to put it in. So okay. I don't know if you want to talk about. Yeah, that. I I can talk about whatever. Today is okay. Q and A and and how we can get you to thinking positive. Those are the key <laughs> things. So um, thermal protectant. Okay, so we should grab that. I think. Hold on, I have cords all on my lap that I have to, from all my versions. Thanks, Jenny. 
a lot of questions okay. about do you do it before the iron and the blow dry? You know, there's just a lot of when. Okay. Go ahead, Jenny. What do you? How do you use the thermal protectant? She's a huge. She loves, loves, loves Love the thermal protectant. Stuff. So I use it after I shampoo. Um, I use it mostly um, just on the days that I shampoo. So I towel dry my hair and then I spray it in and brush it through. It and then I do my blow dry and. Yeah. And what do you, what do you love about it? What does it do for you? I love that it, well, obviously it protects my hair from heat, but I love that it makes my curls last forever. I am up to five days now and I'm so excited. Yes. It's such freedom. Yes. So it complete. really, really, truly helps hold my curls. I never, well, I never used to curl my hair, but now I curl my hair and man, <laughs> I cannot go without that for yeah. sure. And, and that's one of the things we love about what we've been finding out about the iron is that people that aren't good at curling their hair or never thought about curling their hair are amazing at it because they just don't have those skills they have to relearn. Like girls that have been curling know that tension is key for curling with a curling iron and curling with a flat iron. And so I think they struggle more with it because they want to put tension on it and it's such a big deal. But yeah. I think the struggle is not near as big as it used to be because we have the style time sessions and yeah. everything. And so mm -hmm. I think it's really not near as challenging as it used to be. But um, the thermal protectant is great too because it, it just allows you to have the hold and the volume and the silk and the shine and the slipperiness all at the same time, which I love. I just didn't want products that made you feel helmety. I like hair to feel like like amazing hair. That's what I like. So, uh, yeah. Any questions? They we have a lot of questions actually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what was the book you read to send to the rest? The book I read was The Secret. So The Secret was I I was watching Oprah all the time and I always loved watching Oprah and all her positive shows and everything and I I read The Secret and I remember actually and we watched the movie I think is what we did and uh, my husband and I watched it and I was like so. I was so inspired. I was like, this is amazing. All we got to do is think positive and stuff will start happening. It's amazing. And he was like, I go, what'd you get out of it? He's like, nothing. And I was like, what? And then I started thinking like the negative thoughts started coming in like, oh, maybe I'm weird. Maybe, maybe that positive thinking isn't that great for you or something. And I don't know, maybe it doesn't work. And then I was just started, I was like, like obsessing over this positive thinking. I was like, I need to try it. I have to try it. And it just kept getting better and better and better. And better and better and better. That was our first conversation yeah. when I met you. Yeah. The secret. Yeah, the <laughs> secret. Yeah. It. And we had the same lucky number, 111. Yeah. Repeating numbers. We love them. Um, do you have another question, Tammy? Yes. Can you, use, can you use the thermal protectant on dry hair? Because I usually let my hair air dry. A lot of questions about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the big thing for me is just in, in the damp hair, I feel like it has more ability to absorb in. But absolutely, you can... Use it, and I might not be even right on that to be honest. Well, I actually did that this morning. So last night I washed my hair before I went to bed because it had been five days, and I just yeah. felt like I needed to. And I didn't put it in last night, so I put it in this morning before I curled. So yeah. you can. <laughs> no burn. I just hair wouldn't hair. leave it. You know, let it. You know, dry. Don't put it in and get it soaking. And yeah, that's curl it, but definitely yeah. the key. I think that is part of it. Is that I just don't want to like dry my hair and then. Get the dampness in it again. Right. I think I think that's why I always want to work with damp hair. But absolutely, you can spray it in dry. Absolutely. And Just make sure the, you shake it first. Does the blow dryer come with any attachments? Yes, the blow dryer comes with the concentrator. Where is the blow dryer? The concentrator and so it comes with the concentrator on. Because I want you guys to use this. I believe in the power of this concentrator. I think concentrators are huge for getting a great blowout. And then it also comes with the diffuser. Yeah, you can hold it with your pretty nails. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, the the concentrator is good for scrunching curls in and- Diffuser. Oh, sorry, the diffuser, sorry. I pointed at it and thought different. And then the concentrator is great for helping um, you get smoother volume so that you can control the cuticles. Um, I think it's key. And I, I cannot say enough like about how great Jenny and Tammy, since they've switched blow dryers, mm -hmm. that it has improved their hair so much. And so I, much. I find it funny because I didn't think of that as mm -hmm. being something that the blow dryer would do. I just thought it would bring solace into your life, being quieter and lighter. And prettier. <laughs> and prettier. <laughs> yes. I mean, look at that. I love that detail. Okay, so. Yes. Anything else, Tammy? Um, how long does it take to see results when you start using the products? 
So, okay, so this is our recommendation is literally, please take a picture of your hair the day before you start using them because literally the minute you start using them, the first time you start using them, you will see the difference. Mm -hmm. You will feel the difference. And and then it's too late. Like, then you can't get that back. Mm -hmm. You can't get that that feeling back of the mm, hair. Yeah. Right, right. Or the limp hair, right? Mm -hmm. For you, it was always like, like yeah. shampooing over and over and yes. over. And same for me, because Jenny has such fine hair, but it's, she has a good amount of it, but it's fine. So like if you have the wrong product, it gets your hair so like greasy or oily looking yeah. right away. And it should just, and then you have to be obsessed with dry shampoo instead of just obsessed with your hair. Yeah. And I felt like I had to color my hair all the time just to get body in it, just to make it do something. And I haven't yeah. had my hair colored since February. So yeah. I mean, it is... Yeah. Yeah, we're going on the way long down. plan for <laughs> yes. the, with our color. <laughs> so don't judge. There's no judgment in positivity. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have another question, Yes. Cammie? Can you straighten and curl your hair with the time iron? Absolutely you can. So the difference is, hold on, I got a pile of iron. So the difference is, is the curling side has the guidelines and the straightening side has the gold plates. So it's just in, and you hold it the same. You never have to move your hand from here. I made it so that it's comfortable for your hand and this curve comes around all the way down here so that it's more comfortable for you. And then you just put your thumb behind the blue light and then you can straighten going this way and curl going this way. So guidelines to your head for curling and guidelines to your, uh, away from your head for straightening. Yep, absolutely you can. Another good one. How okay. do you control frizzy hair? We How do you this. control frizzy hair? Well, there's a lot of aspects of frizzy, right? So there's um, some that comes from humidity and some that comes from how you blow dry um, and some that comes from, you know, chemical damage and some that comes from heat damage. So there's, and some that new comes hairs. from static. <laughs> new hair, yeah. <laughs> Tammy's new battling hairs. the new hair. She has so much new hair after using the shampoo and conditioner. She just calls it her new hair. She's like, look at all my new hair. Look at all my new hair. It's so awesome. Yeah. And then so, it's timeless. Yeah, and timeless is amazing for the static. I, I always, it's for static and for, you know, against humidity mm -hmm. it helps and also at the end when your hair is looking like it needs just to be you know when you used to put the oils in or whatever that but then it weighs it down or doesn't keep your mm -hmm. curl in or whatever doesn't hold the shape or just I don't know could you ever use oils in your hair no it got so greasy looking and it's so crazy how this smooths your hair but I mean you can spray it on your hands there's no oil to it at all it's I don't know we call it's it magical. we call it magical and um <laughs> what liquid gold, liquid gold. yeah liquid, liquid gold is the other one because it just we don't even understand how it can make your hair feel so soft i sprayed it in mine i can feel just like right before i was like oh this is amazing and usually i always when when you brush it out i think it even looks oh, more amazing yes you that it. is so key is brushing right after you spray the timeless i think that is so so key Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone's asking, is that writing on the mirror? With, and they're showing the lipstick thing. Yes, <laughs> that is lipstick. And, and that's, you know, it was because I feel like everybody has an old lipstick laying around that they wish they could have wore. But like, I can't wear red and I can't wear that bright pink. So I had that one laying around and I was like, well, this would be a good one to write. And so we took a video of it. And so our challenge to you is to make sure that you do that as well. Like write down your, you know, eight things about yourself and carry it over for now we're thinking 21, 21 days, 21 <laughs> days. So just do it for a month, one month of just yeah. repeating to yourself the things that you heard about yourself and then challenge your friends to do the same. I think it is amazing for what it can do. And you've, you've been doing really good about reading it to yourself. Yes. Right? And posting it isn't easy either. You know, you yeah. feel like, Oh, should I do this? Is, is this, you somebody know, going to judge me? Right. Guess what? There's no judgment in positivity. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. I mean, if you say I'm a perfect 10, uh, maybe people will be like, uh. <laughs> you might, you know, people yes. might think about it, but you know, I, I, would, I think if you can write that about yourself, I think you should write it. I think you should. Yes. I do. And it's really fun to write in lipstick. <laughs> it is. Not as fun to clean, but yeah. All right. You're going to leave it there for 30 days, so make it look pretty. Bling to your bathroom. That's we not really bling, but... One fun. last question. Okay. Is it bad to put wet hair in a bun and then go to sleep? <laughs> it depends on what your outcome you want is. So the question is, is it bad to put your hair in a bun when it's wet before you go to sleep? So if you want to have movement in your hair, I would say no, it's not. 
If you want your hair to dry straight, I wouldn't put it in a bun. So if your goal is to create some movement in your hair and create more fullness, I think the bun would work for sure. Um, I don't think there's any detriment to your hair to having it up or down. The only thing I do know is if you pull it up a lot and you're sleeping on that part, then you might have a little bit of you know pulling and things like that, but mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think it would be anything huge detrimental. And if it is, then you'll know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just all the time. I've been getting a couple of um, cool questions on YouTube, and I forgot. I forgot what they were, but I had some. So if anybody on our team sees cool YouTube questions, will you pass them our way? Because I've seen a couple of cool ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's non markers you can write on mirrors. So that's good. What was that one? It was something about ponytail holders. Did you read what that said? Yeah, so we're going to keep looking for questions and see what we can answer for you. But um, let's see, what else is a good thing? So one thing that I was thinking is really funny too is how this box looked in the beginning. So this was our beginning time box, like our very first prototype. And we would just cut it up and make, you know, like this is obviously when we were trying to come up with the box. So all of these things are so funny because you didn't, you know, I had no experience in creating products before this. And I just had to like come up with all of this stuff. And I have to say one of the biggest challenges I had was writing this letter on the back. I, I was always said that I wasn't a good writer. And so I would like give it to somebody and be like, can you help me write this? Can you help me write this? Can you help me write this? And my brother Kier goes, just send it. You just need to write it yourself. You just need to do it. And I was like, Ugh. it was like, I think that was one of the hardest things I had to face in this is becoming like learning how to write good emails. And cause I always thought everybody told me I wasn't a good writer when I was little. So I was telling myself that I couldn't do it. And now I'm very proud of my letter, even though like some marketing people said I was wasting the space instead of pointing out the irons benefits. And I thought, well, everybody points out irons benefits. You never get to thank your mentor, um, you know, in a good way. Like that's what I did on the bottom of this. And that was very important to me. So, you know, maybe I'm wasting space, but huh? What are you gonna do? Sometimes we waste space. That's what we do in decorating. <laughs> okay, uh, did you ever find something? It was about how do I pull my toddler's hair back without getting ponytail holder breakage. Ooh, okay. So I think the biggest thing is making sure that you don't have the metal pieces on it. I think that's one you can, you know, there's ponytail holders that have, um, that are easier on your hair. They're just all fabric and that's a big thing that I think would help. Do you have any recommendations? Yeah. You, you I usually toddler? use, yeah, I usually use either those, the ones that are all fabric or the little clear ones. Oh yeah, the clear ones are good mm -hmm. that, um, they, what is your favorite one of those? I think I get mine at Sally's. Yeah, I have them at, from Sally's now. I used to have a kind that they made and I can't find them anymore because yeah. now they break all the time. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, the Rainbow Loom bands are pretty good too. Yes. So, and I like that because there was a guy that created, he was like a similar journey of ours, like the Rainbow Loom guys. He had to, his, one of his first batch of rubber bands came in dirty, so he had to wash them in his own bathroom tub I think and to make it you know because when you're starting a business you're like uh what do I need to do to make it succeed oh my gosh I spent my whole life savings on these rubber bands and they're dirty and so I love that he took the time to wash yeah. that I think that's really cool so anyway rainbow loom bands are great for your hair we have boatloads of them at we our do. house do <laughs> yeah. you oh yeah I have a whole basket full of yeah them. do you yeah I have I think yeah I have a lot a lot of questions about triangle brush a lot of people are oh. wondering when and how to use it Okay, so triangle brush, do we have that at our leisure, Jenny? <laughs> Jenny, keeps, we keep thinking we had all the things over here, but we didn't. Um, so triangle brush. Triangle brush is great for um, shorter hair and allowing the short hair to get volume. So what I love about this is that it just picks up the hair. Do you see how easy that was for me? Is just to roll it. So it's what I love about that is for shorter hair, it's harder to grip, right? Because it's shorter. So what I love about this is when it has that edge like that, it allows it to pick up easier. And it also is great for creating, you know, curls down here because you can wrap it and curl like this as well. And so where your hair, when you're blow drying, when you heat, like, so if I was blow drying, I'm probably gonna blow your okay, hair I'm, here, sorry, I don't Jenny. Know, is it on? So if you, yeah, I think I tested it. So if you blow dry and heat it up, where it cools is where it stays, right? So you're on a cooler, 
I'm, I'm sorry, you're letting it cool on a smaller shape, and so you can allow it to, that wasn't my best effort ever, but you, where it cools on the brush is where it takes the shape, right? So if you cool it on a smaller shape, it's going to get a smaller um, rounded look to it. So um, I haven't perfected the triangle on my hair yet, obviously. We finally had a good use for it last week, remember? What the was back homing? Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> that was, was kind of cool. It was so a great back homing. We just took it and we could back home it with it as well. So that was a really good... I was like, that is a good bonus. I forgot. Thanks for reminding me. I have a teasing question. It says, is teasing your hair once in a while okay, or can it cause a lot of breakage? Absolutely. Once in a while is absolutely okay. The key is, is to know how to do it correctly and not just go in and do the haphazard like this thing <laughs> over and over and over. And then, you know, because you don't, you don't create the exact movement. So you want to tease with purpose, right? So if you want to back comb or tease, what you want to do is go underneath so that you can create a smoother look on top and you just want to do you know a couple of times so that it can not yank on your hair so hard and that will give you the volume um, you're looking for so just make sure you're rocking your comb from up towards the ceiling and roll it down towards your head and you should be able to get the volume you need in three or four. So just practice on getting that the right amount of back combs. <laughs> <laughs> strokes? I don't know what it is. is it, we're stroking. Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and do you towel dry your hair? Absolutely. So I think um, knowing how to towel dry your hair is even important. What you want to do is squeeze it instead of roughing it. And that allows the, um, you know how you don't scrub a stain out of carpet because it'll like, it, it, yeah, it you out. just want to dab it, it out. You want to dab yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy did that too. Or what? <laughs> Dabbing it out. The kids will be so proud of me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you want to dab the water out of your hair instead of like roughing up the cuticle. I think I'm such a huge believer in not roughing up the cuticle as as much as you can you know mm -hmm. you want to stay away from it as much as you can so I'm not trying to turn my chair at Jenny I'm just trying to block the light there because it's really bright <laughs> and is it better to use a comb or a brush to tease what a comb or a brush I think both are good I think um I think it's just in your technique I think both are equally good I wouldn't I wouldn't limit you to one or the That's other just I think preference I think I think yeah. so too I think it's just what where your skill set lies with it so and then we have a question about the conditioner. How long do you leave the conditioner conditioner in before you wash it out when you're in the shower? Okay. Does so, it make a difference, they're saying? Yeah, I you know, I think it's about what is we say two to five minutes on it. Yeah. I always just leave it on until I'm bored or <laughs> until I wanna <laughs> it depends on my sh hurry. Yeah. How about you? How yeah. long do you leave it I on? I just leave it on until I'm done, whatever. Yeah, Washing shaving or, or whatever. Shaving. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it matters a little bit because it you need to give it time to, you know, adjust to your hair or adhere to your hair, whatever conditioner does. I, I don't know the technical word, and I probably have to find that out for you, but I don't know what it's exactly doing. But, you know, for a conditioner to work, I would give it a little bit of time. Like when you spray Timeless on, it feels great in the beginning and it feels amazing <laughs> after a little while right? right like you'll know later in the day you'll grab your hair and go like what is going on why is my hair so soft today mm -hmm. and then you remember that you sprayed timeless in <laughs> but in the beginning you can feel it right away too i keep noticing i like this side of my hair much better than this side i got too curly today on that one curl <laughs> it's a good thing i have a straightening iron as well okay so do you have any more questions Tammy, or are you pretty Not good? Not on the list. I'm pretty good. Okay. So I think I'm going to show a little bit about straightening then, and I'll show you how if you are like me and want to fix that one side of your hair. So I like this side better. I'm not sure what side you guys like better today. You guys should tell me this one, my left side or my right side. Just I think no, I'm like just liking the left. Comment. Okay. <laughs> Tease with purpose. Tease with yes. purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do all the teasing with purpose, girls, <laughs> with our positivity. Yeah. <laughs> Getting what we want out of life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just slowly go over this. So one of the things I want to 
reiterate is how important it is to not put tension on this. So you don't want to go plate to plate. You want to go plate to hair. So I want to show you how lightly I'm going to go over this. Because I don't want stick straight, I won't use my brush this time because usually I run a brush in front of it because it allows the hair to disperse out better. Um, and if it's more evenly dispersed, it straightens better. So if your hair is all clumped up like this going through the straightening part, it's better to have it nice and spread out like that. Get that? Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Okay. I just wonder if things make sense only in my brain or if everyone's getting it with me. <laughs> okay. So I think I'll just do a little bit in here. There. So if, if I wanted to catch this side up so they look a little more even, I don't know, I just really like this other side better. Okay. So I think that's an easy way to, you know, change it up. And what I love about it is I don't have to heat up another tool to do it. I can do either one. I'm going to curl this front. Actually, I'm going to go use the straightening side and roll out a little bit just to create more bump in there. There we go. Okay. So I forgot to tell what all our presents are going to be today. We should do that. So the presents are going to be... We like presents better than giveaways because I don't know why. Because it's presents for being good, good girls. <laughs> you are such good who girls out like there. Who doesn't like presents? So much better than giveaways. It sounds better to me. So we are giving presents. So what we're doing in honor of talking about how the power of positivity brought us to time. Um, and we hope that the power of positivity will help you as well. We are going to give away. I mean, we are going to give <laughs> presents. And the presents are going to be, of course, one iron. And, and with the iron, because I want you to brush every section before, I'm going to give you a paddle brush. So we're going to do a paddle brush and an iron for one giveaway. Present. <laughs> do we have the <laughs> other one? Yeah, do we have the other thing? Okay. And then we're going to do the blow time with the round brush because they work in conjunction with each other so nicely and so that will be one of our winners we have big big presents today i think so yes. and then we're going to give away another present <laughs> oh this present's a big big one so because everything is you know everything we do at time has we, we just want it to make your life better, easier, more positive, so you don't have to go through it the hard way and think about everything being hard. We want things to be easy for you. Um, one of the things that I really wanted easier in my life was to get my wallet to change from one bag to the other. Hold on, let me take some stuff out of here. So, Okay, so um, one of the things that is big to me is to change bags at night. So what I wanted was a system where I could change my wallets from one bag to the other very easily. So that's what we created so that you could easily just take the things that you want with and change your bag. Or if you don't want to take one of them, like this is what I don't take out when I go out on the weekend. Since, since it's Friday, I'm going to take that and put it back in my bag in my big bag and I just leave this one in for going out at night so I can fit more lip gloss in for the night or my hairspray in there or whatever. So, um, and I of course have lip glosses in. So we're going to give away one of these clutches of your choice. You can have your choice of if you want the um, essentials plus, you can have two of those or one essentials or two essentials or however you want to build your wallet clutch system because that's how you purchase it on the website so you can go ahead and just choose which one you would like to have and which color you would like them in you can even change up your colors so um this one's sinfully gold in case anybody's asking which one i'm carrying today <laughs> okay and so what um so then the other thing we have is these zip time bags Hold on, they're buried under my irons here. Okay, so these zip time bags, I wanted flexible bags that would conform in my suitcase when I'm traveling. And so instead of using like Ziploc bags or whatever, I just wanted to be able to use some nice, shiny, blingy, pretty bags that would make me feel good about packing. You know, because you spend money on your suitcase and you mm -hmm. spend money on your clothes and you look at, and then you put a bunch of Ziploc bags in there or whatever. <laughs> and I love Ziploc bags for the kitchen, don't get me wrong, but for travel, I love having like a nicer bag. 
So, and this was so key to me that you could do that. I don't know why. Is it key to you? Do you guys get that? Like, because yeah. some of those plastic bags are so like crunchy and hard and I hated it. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to be able to like, not that I ever do this with the bag, but you could. And it yeah, would just like come back. That you can see what's in there. You don't have yeah. to dig for it. You can just yeah. see right where it's at. And... Like, I did not make this to be my makeup bag, but I yeah. use it for my makeup bag. Do you, Tammy? I know <laughs> Jenny is. Yeah. Uh, basically everything. I use it for my daughter's all of her little jewelry or hair pieces. I mean, yeah. it's just it's so useful yeah. for anything. Yeah, they. Uh, we love these bags. I'm just, I wish you guys, I wish there was some way for us to convey how useful these are. And you can work your phones through them. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. There's just so many things. So, anyway. Anyway, zip time bags are one of our giveaways today. Yay. So there's going to be a set of those. What else do we have? We have shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so shampoo and conditioner, these will be a gift for somebody. And you can tell the difference between shampoo and conditioner because of the bling ring. First the top, then the bottom. So that way you don't have to worry about, oh, I've got them backwards for you guys. So first the top, then the bottom. And that way you don't ever have to think about it in the shower because I was tired of like trying to find which one is shampoo and conditioner. And like, don't forget, whoever wins this, please, please, please take pre-pictures, pictures before you ever use it, and then pictures a couple of weeks after because I think you're going to love, love, love it. We, I, have you guys checked out on my um, Jacinda Smith page? We have another page that, you know, we give kind of results and different little tidbits of information. And it is so great. I'm, that's where I'm posting like some of the pictures that people are sending. So, because none of us took pictures before. Such goofballs. Mm -hmm. so, I had no idea it was going to make that much difference in our hair. I Especially know. right away like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we're going to give away uh, an Upstaged because it's got the power of how many products in it? Five? I think five for sure. Yeah, about five products. I think it can take the place of about five products for you. Mm -hmm. So we think this is a gift in itself. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. We should give a brush with that. Let's give a brush with, uh, okay. no, no, we're going to do that with Timeless. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And then selfie time, we're going to give away one of these mm -hmm. because we want you to be able to spray with purpose. And Tammy used to use hairspray for, wait, one whole bottle in every two weeks. And now she's over two months with her mm -hmm. one bottle. Yay, Tammy, and learning to spray with purpose. That's and it's still half full. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to go four months down. And by the way, one of our stylists with this bottle of shampoo and conditioner went 10 months. Mm -hmm. 10 months. Because... You can, you don't have shampoo as often. I'm going once a week now. It's so bad. I just, I really shampoo for you guys and that's about it. <laughs> and my husband, of course, so that I have great hair. Um, what are you, every five days? I got to five days. Five days. Lately, so, yeah, Boom. That's, that's, that's magic. It is. If, we, if only we can get you to six, one for each kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So, and then Timeless is going to go, I think we'll go, give Timeless and a brush. Correct. And the brush will be, because when you spray it in, if you brush it in after, it's just so much better. You can really tell the difference because it disperses it throughout all the strands. Love it. Liquid gold. Last but not least. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, our time traveler set. So <laughs> that's um, got you all set and ready to go for your travel because it has shampoo, conditioner, um, upstaged and selfie time so it's got you all covered to travel through the airport and won't you look fancy compared to all the other people carrying Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags. So fancy. Boom. All right. All right. We have our winners. Okay. We got all the winners. Do I have to read? Yeah. Well, let's hold <laughs> right. up and you Should we start back to <laughs> Yeah. Let's start in here and okay. I'll hand back through. Okay. Ready? So, time traveler winner is Claudette. And Alejo San Pedro. Okay, there you go. That's n winner number one. <laughs> Do a winner, winner. Okay, the Timeless and Paddle Brush winner. Hold on, I gotta find it. Timeless and Paddle Brush. <laughs> is Sissy Wilkie. <laughs> Sissy Wilkie, welcome to the Timeless Club. Welcome to. The we should start a Timeless Club. Yeah, who loves pretty. their? Who loves to feel their hair? I do. <laughs> I do. I do. Especially after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, selfie time winner is... I'll let you hold it because you already got it. Gem Cakes. Gem Cakes? Gem Cakes. Okay, congratulations, ladies. Don't forget to do your positive video and challenge your friends to do the same. Please, please, please get that spread around. I think you will not, not, not... There's no way you can regret talking positive to yourself. You just can't do it. Right. And you can post it and use hashtag time, hashtag challenge. time challenge. Yeah, you can definitely do that and send it to us. We love, love, love finding and seeing that you guys are participating with us in these awesome, fun things. Okay, upstaged. Upstaged. Where is it? Here. Jessica Walker. Jessica Walker. So you are our upstage winner. 
because that's the five in one. That's why this one can live all on its own. Don't forget to shake it when you get it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it fast, but watch it's yourself. Spray on purpose too. The, yeah. The heart. Yeah, you want to yes. make sure you do a full pump because that allows the spray to disperse good. If you do a half pump, it like squirts funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shampoo and conditioner winner is Chastity Epps Osteen. Oh, I can't get which one's right. <laughs> I'm trying to do the face right. Chastity Ips Epstein? Osteen. 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 Sorry. Yes. Don't forget to take a picture, picture, pick a picture, <laughs> chastity, please. <laughs> okay, zip time set winner. Zip time set. Okay, one minute, one moment. I'm getting it. Okay. Jamie. So we got, we have all three sizes for you, and yes. that is who? Jamie Renee. Jamie Renee, congratulations! You can travel in style with a smile. <laughs> For miles. <laughs> for miles. Yeah, travel for miles in style with a smile. Okay, the clutch and wallet system. <laughs> All right, clutch and wallet of your choice. So you can choose. So you get the clutch for mm -hmm. sure. And then you can choose if you want one Essentials Plus. Can you hold that for me? Yes. And the difference between the Essentials and the Essentials Plus is whether you get a zipper or no zipper. Right? Yeah. Right. No zipper is Essentials, Essentials Plus. The way I look at it is, do you want change or no change when you're going out? I take no change because I don't have parking meters around here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which would you no. take out? I would take out this. Who needs that extra weight, you know? Yeah. You don't want the oh, you would take that out. I meant out to go oh, out. And to I was like, out. you take that no, out. No, I take that yeah. out. Okay. I thought you would take it out of your bed. But I just wanted women to have the option. I watch everybody like trying to like build their wallet and conform to what people want them to conform to. And instead, I'm like, why doesn't your wallet conform to you? Get it? Yes. Right? If you need change when you go out or change when you don't, like, let's not conform to what somebody said we had to have our wallet look like. And you guys, these are so easy to take in and out. Yeah, no more <laughs> breaking yeah. nails. All right. Dun, 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 <laughs> da, 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 a catfish dinner. I don't know why I love that song for winner, winner. Brittany Carpenter. Brittany Ooh. Carpenter, congratulations. And yes, you can fit your sunglasses in two ladies into your clutch. It's so amazing. Boom. That is freedom. Complete freedom for me. Except for when you're trying to do it on live. But I can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is it here zipping? Okay. Okay, blow dryer and round brush. Oh, it's okay. blow time for somebody. You two can enjoy blow time. <laughs> okay, that winner is... See if you can hear me over there. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's see if you can. Susanna Belmont. Complete freedom when you can blow dry your hair and hear people around you. That's on low. Everyone always asks. This is on high. Yeah. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you. I can still hear you. Okay. Oh, whoops. I took it off. That was still it. I promise. <laughs> okay. So what were okay, we saying? So I'm that sorry. was Susanna Belmont. Susanna and then... Belmont. Okay. Congratulations, Susanna. Enjoy your blow time. And now your husband, one of the, one of the team members, Audrey, her husband was saying that he is so appreciative of this because it doesn't wake him up in the morning. I was like, yes, freedom for the men too. Woo. Okay. Okay. Do we have something else? We have one more. The oh, yeah. iron, iron and paddle brush. Iron and paddle brush. Okay. Michelle. Make sure you brush each section before and brush it forward. That's why this paddle brush is going with it because when you brush your sections forward, it helps alleviate the kink up top. A lot of people hold it out here and then squish in all the hair and get kinks and then they wonder why. So alleviate that by putting a brush and brushing your section forward first, okay? That will help you, okay? Yes. Okay, so Michelle Mitchell. Is Michelle Mitchell, you are our winner today for the iron and the brush. It is like Christmas time here. It is. I just wanted to celebrate all the positive things going around and, and where that took us on our time journey. So we wanted to give away one of everything we have. We didn't give away hats today though. Mm. Next week. Next week? Yeah, I like giving away hats in person. I feel like I want to like go to take a trip down to Phoenix and just give away some hats somewhere like one day mm -hmm. and be like have a time party somewhere. Do yes. you think we should do that? I think that would be so Honestly, fun. Honestly, you walk down the street, I like your hat. Here you go. Yeah, <laughs> that would. Yeah, we did that in Nashville, yeah. and it was like people were offering us fifty dollars for the hats because when you see them in person, they're like, "That is so amazing." I was like, because I think it was just it. I think it symbolizes fun. Yes. And positivity, and people yes. just feel it. Yes, yes. Can you feel it? <laughs> Can you feel it? Okay, so everybody get your post. Make sure you do that for yourself. And we love to see it. So please, you know, um, send us a copy or tag us in time challenge. And what else? What else? So don't forget to send your email. And 
mailing address? Yes. yes. Oh, and good. You forgot? <laughs> yes. I got it. Woo. I had a different email in mind. So we have an okay. email sign up link in the ad copy. So if you oh, want yeah. to sign up to get emails on our specials, sometimes we have tutorials. Yep. The link is above for Facebook and below for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's somewhere in there. Somewhere and then next there. week, Jenny has this new curling technique that she has learned, and I absolutely love it. So that's what we'll be talking about next week, yes. is how to achieve Jenny's new amazing whispering waves. Whispering da, da, waves. Da, da, next Friday. <laughs> hey, and by the way, everybody, we are... Gosh, I just created the funniest thing because I teased that up there. Um, one more thing is that we um, are debating over for the summer changing days. So like, if you have a chance, give us your ideal time. <laughs> that you would like to see this move to if you would like to see it move to later or, or earlier in the day during the week but I was thinking there's so many long weekends and stuff in the summer that it might be, be hard for people to tune in so I was trying to think of another day to switch it to so let us know what days would work for you and I think we might do an email sign up thing that we can send out to all of our email um, subscribers so that we can um, gather that info so we'll work on that okay See you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.